What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It is Salamancer. I'm going to be providing a tutorial today on how to produce a shoutcast. And if you, you know, for the one or two of you who are actually interested in that, it'll uh, it'll be a nice little tutorial for you. You get to see which software to use. For those of you who are not interested, um, you can turn it off now. I don't care. Or you can just see how the magic happens. It's not magic at all. It's, it's really boring. Um, software I've got. Fraps. Windows Movie Maker. And that's about it. So uh, yeah, that's what you need. Uh, but we're going we're gonna to go ahead and start with step one. Step one, alcohol. Make sure you got it. Step two is to actually have some recording software. Uh, I have Fraps. I paid for a license for Fraps. Totally using the registered licensed version. But you can uh, you can get away with, I think, not registering. And I've seen a few people do that. It, it's a little bit of a pain. Or you can go with free software like Bandicam. I think XSplit can work for some people. There's a lot of recording software out there. And you can just use whatever works for you. Fraps works for me. I have it set to monitor my desktop so you can see everything. But of course, you can uncheck that. Uh, and that's what we're going to do in just a second. I'll show you. We will be actually recording some in-game footage from Team Fortress 2. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and load that up. I'll stop recording for just a second. We'll get right back into it. Now, from in-game, which is what we're doing now. I've unchecked that uh, monitor desktop version. You're going to need an STV demo or a POV demo, whatever it is that you want to do. STV, of course, gives you the opportunity to see everybody. POV only gives you the opportunity to see one person. If you don't know the difference, uh, the difference is pretty readily available wherever you look. So, you know. It's on the wiki. It's everywhere. But let's go ahead and use the console to play demo. And we can play just about anything, you know, 6v5, I don't care. Now, once you're recording, I usually have some keys bound to things like demo pause and demo resume, so I can just pause and resume at any given time. Um, Spacebar, double tapping it will bring you to different viewpoints. It's basically just like spectating in TF2. It's really simple. And you've got W, A, S, and D to give you your... Uh, your movement keys in the game, you can move things around with the mouse. I mean, I'm just watching the guy's first person right now, but that's kind of the general idea. And if you've got a little flashing uh, box down there, it's because this might be an old demo, or maybe just because your your UI is screwed up. I don't know, I don't even, I haven't even like troubleshot that yet, if that's a word. So whatever. But uh, you know, you just sit here and record with your fraps on until you are ready and you're satisfied with your product, and then we go on into the rendering process. Now, once you're done recording, Got a couple things you need to do. First of all, Fraps files tend to be pretty large. Uh, we're recording quite a few. You can see here, uh, when you record a file that is like 18 minutes long, like I do in some of these cases, that tends to give you about 13, what is that, 13 gigabytes? Totally 13 gigabytes. So, pretty big. YouTube, I'm not even sure if it accepts files that large, uh, but unless you've got, you know, some ri ridiculously sick connection, you probably don't want to upload files that large anyway because it'd take you two or three days to do it. So, instead, you got to render the video that you have just captured. I usually do that through Windows Movie Maker because it's free and I have it, but, uh, oh look, it's me. But pretty much you just add the video that you want, so, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, add some random video. Like, we'll grab this, right? Just throw it in there, it loads it up, stitches it all together, and compresses it. So, now it depends on what format you've recorded in. I always record with my TF2 window as a 720p window, so it makes it really easy. It's all in the native resolution. Um, and you can do that, of course, through TF2 settings, and I play in windowed mode, so it makes it really easy to, to work with. But uh, and then you save movie here for Windows Movie Maker. You can use Vegas, you can use anything else. People laugh at me a lot for Windows Movie Maker, and I understand that, because it doesn't have a lot of good effects. But I don't use effects, I just use straight up video. So uh, I save is recommended for the project. If you didn't take it in the proper recording, then you may have to choose one of these other options and figure it out. But I just save it as recommended, because it'll, it'll automatically go into a 720p mode. Uh, and then I just save it as stuff. Um, let's see, I had a scrim, I think, that I... You never saw that. But yeah, so you go ahead and save it. It'll render. It takes a while. But uh, once you've done that, then it's a pretty simple process. So we're going to go ahead and pretend that we're going to upload now to YouTube, because that's like a really simple thing to do. You press the upload button. It brings you to the screen. Then you select a file to upload. We'll click that, and hey, look, we're uploading, except I've already uploaded that one. So we're going to cancel. But yeah, that's it. You shoutcasted, and then you uploaded. Now, if there's more demand for, you know, more specifics, I can get into that. Um, but for now, that's going to be just about it. Thanks a lot. 